우와 이 풀, 이 뽕풀 야 나무가 이제 추워지니까 더 이뻐지는데 어? 할머니가 왔는데 이거 책 가지고 뒤에 가야 돼 하고 아니 아니 아, 이제 다, 다 봤어? 어. 우와 우와 집에 어, 어. 집에 가서 읽을까? <웃음> 아이 집에는 껌껌하잖아 어. 아 네가 가자 그래? 이꽃 이쁜데 이렇게? 이게 꽃 이쁜데? 할머니가 이제 책 읽어주려고 왔으니까 또 와야지 다시 한 번만 더 빨리 와 어이구 그래요? 와, 할머니. 아 이렇게 이쁘고 냄새 나는 여기 꽃밭에서 디어가드 읽으면 은 되게 좋은데 또 가서 뭐좀 먹고 오라고 디어가드 do something have you ever have you ever known a A bully, a bully is someone who picks on you, or tease you, or calls you names. So most bullies are just plain mean. But being unkind to a bully doesn't help. If you really want to teach a bully a lesson, you should be nice. God says that showing kindness and love to your enemy will discourage a mean person's ways. God wants us to love everybody, even bullies. If your enemies, what? 왔네. 불리하고 막 나쁜 말 하는 친구들하고 사이 좋게 또 지내래. 싸우지 말고 그래? 그래서 so, 하나님이 뭐라고 하시냐면, if your enemies, 한국이 하모니 이거 냄새 너무 좋아서 여기 옆에 왔어. 너 그거 어 갖고 왔어 집에서? 어. 그 뭐야? 거기 있었어? 거기다 그림 그려 쓰고. Yeah, if your enemy is hungry, give him bread to eat. 네, 너를 싫어하는 애가 있으면 빵 줘, 가자 더 주래. And if he is thirsty, 아, 목말라 그러면 물 주래. Give him water to drink for doing so. You will heap a coals of fire on his head. And the Lord will reward you. Uh, Proverbs 3, 25장, 21절, 22절. 하나님이 너를 미워하고 싫어하는 사람한테 뭐라고? 뭐하라고? 물 주라 그러면 물한컵 줘버리래. 과자 주라 그러면 과자도 줘버리래. 와, 디어가. 과자 그안 응. 좋으잖아. 그래, 과자가 있으면 없으면 할수 없지 뭐. 디어가, I'm tired of sitting on the side. You're going to feel left out sometimes. Everyone does. You will get mad when something doesn't go your way. You will feel like quitting. When, 아니 여기 따뜻하잖아. 집 주차장은 추워 지금 할머니가. When something, 아니 나나나 no, 나. No, no, no. You will feel like quitting, quitting when something gets too tough. The job of being, you can be hard when you are all alone, but you are not really ever alone because God is always with you. 너하고 하나님이 항상 함께 계시대. 그러니까 안 심심해. And the times you fear the worst are the times you can know God the best. 와 하나님은 진짜 최고시다. 어떻게 나 혼자 두지 않고 같이 놀아주시지? The Lord himself will never leave you. Deuteronomy 31.8 야 우리 하이리도 혼자 같은데 얘얘얘 보이도 혼자 같은데 하나님이 같이 계셔주신대요. 봐. 여 남자애 이쪽에. 그지? 어. 근데 너 얼굴에도 그 빨간 게 묻었어요. 손 대지, 어, 손 대지 마. 손, 니, 니 손에 다 묻었으니까. 어, dear God, a real friend is someone who takes time to listen to you. 너 이야기를 잘 들어준 사람이 좋은 친구래. It's a whole lot easier to talk than to listen. It's a whole lot more fun to tell what you got for Christmas than to hear what they got. It's a whole lot harder to care what somebody else thinks that when you think you haven't been treated fairly, but how great it is to have a friend who will listen when you feel like talking or to be a friend who listens to what others need to say. Yeah, rejoice with those who rejoice, mourn with those who mourn, romance, a terrible 15. 배, 강, 와, 강아지, 제 크다, 그지? So beautiful dog, huh? Yeah, different color. And deep, yeah, different shape. Wow. So is it, is it gentle? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You are lucky. You are lucky. So I love that color, brown color. <laughs> yeah. 제, 제, 강아지는 좀 특이하다, 그지? 어, 브라운 칼라 좋아? 나도 좋은데 스팟이네. 스팟이 있네, 쟤는.
점이 있잖아. 얼룩이네. Dear God, I think I will dress up today just in case you've got something special in mind. Every morning when you push the covers back, you are ripping the wrapper off a shiny new present. A day not quiet like any other you've ever lived before or like any you will live again. Somehow God never gets tired of watching the sun come up, seeing the flowers drip with dew or giving you a day like today full of new things for you to do, to learn and to enjoy. Enjoy. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Philippians 4.4 Yeah, 날마다 기뻐하고 즐거워하면 하나님께서 복을 많이 많이 주신대. 좋겠다, 아이라. Yeah, dear God, am I listening? Can you hear God's voice? Sometimes it seems might quiet when we need Him the most. But God talks to us to, in many different ways. He speaks through His written word, but also in the wonders of our amazing, amazing planet and the sound of a baby laugh. God is always speaking to us. We only have to be still and listen, not only with our ears, but with our hearts too. Let The one who is wise heed these things and ponder the loving deeds of the Lord. The Psalm 10743. Yeah, 저쪽에 black cloud가 있어. 파란 하늘에 white cloud가 있고 저쪽은 black cloud가 있지만 비가 안올것 같지. 그지? 음, 그렇지, 그렇지. 저쪽에. Yeah, 할머니가 얼마나 빨리 읽나 봐봐. Dear God, the words are wonderful. You can even send them to those who love between that little pink tongue of yours and those shiny white teeth. You can say any word you want. Your tongue and your teeth don't really care what it is, but your friends do. And God does, because when you say kind and helpful words, you give your friends something to talk about, a friend like you who really loves them. Yeah, for out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. Uh, Matthew 12, 34. Uh, 옆에 친구들이 말 못하는 친구들 많다. 하이리 너 교회 가면 은 친구들 언니들하고 이야기해? 걔 언니들 또 너하고 이야기하고 싶은데 부끄러워서 말 못해. 그런데 하이리가 언니 가서 안녕 언니 하면 은그 언니가 되게 좋아한다. 어떻게 해봐. 이렇게 안녕 언니 그렇게 할 거지? 예, 그렇게 하래 하나님이 그럼 너한테 더 예쁘고 더 프리티한 스마일을 주실 거래 I love you mommy sweet sweet young mommy 어, 어. 지금 부었어 아니, 지난주부터 할머니도 알러지 와서 그래서 빨리 읽고 갈 거야 Oh, dear God, have you noticed to, uh, I could do with a little help around here? Everybody needs help. You can count on God to help you with anything. Shing, shing, 날아봐. Yeah, he will help you because he loves you. Sometimes he sends friends or family to give you the help you need. Other times he will help you himself in the way you need most. Ask for help and God will be happy to be there for you. You are there. 아버지 거기 계셔요. Behold, God is my helper. The Lord is with those who uphold my life. Psalm 54:4. Yeah, dear God, are you telling me something? Maybe you are walking along to beach, riding your bike, or waiting to fall asleep in your cozy bed, and all of a sudden you fear that God is trying to tell you something. Be still and pay close attention. And you will know what the message is. For example, the constant whoosh of the waves on the shore just might be God's way of whispering. I'm always, always here with you. And that will never change. Hear what the Lord says to you. Jeremiah 10, 1. Yeah. Uh, 좀 추워지네요, 또. Dear God, give me a hint. Where are you? Yeah, I cannot see you. I cannot hear your voice. I'm having a rough time following. Please help me find you when I have difficulty hearing God's voice. I ask you, God, I, uh, God, to open my ears. I learn to stay silent as I quietly listen. 
the Lord speaks to my heart, I must obey his instructions. If I have a rough time obeying his in instructions, I ask God to help me. The Lord quickly answer me, my core. If any of, any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth, giveth to all men liberally, and it shall be given him. James 1, 5. Yeah, I'm going to go more quickly. Then I can smell the roses, the wild roses. Have a smell so, so beautiful smell. It has those hair. Dear God, we need to talk. Oh, no, you just made a big mistake. You broke mom's favorite base. What should you do? You could tell a lie or blame your brother or sister. Maybe you should run for the hills. No facing mom and telling her the truth will be much better than trying to run or hide. Wrong choices can make you miserable, but no mistake will ever stop God from loving you. He would much rather you tell the truth, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. John eight thirty two. Dear God, what do you think? God takes no one look at you and remembers the day. He made your fingers and the toes, close your height and your hair color, put in your own little personality, the smiled and smiled at the, at the you he had created. If you had put that much thought and love into some, something you had made, wouldn't you? think it was extra special. That's how God feels about you. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow, under the shadow of your wings. Psalm 17, 8. Yeah. And dear God, another adventure. Let's go. Moving from house to house, whether it is across town or across the country, is open a stressful time, sure. You will miss your old friends, but you can trust that God has a bigger, bigger vision for your life. When you get settled in your new home, you will meet new and wonderful friends. Think of that. Then you will have even more friends than you had before. Trust in the Lord and do good, and thou shalt dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. Psalm 37, 3. Dear God, dear God, do you have a minute? Questions are good, and questions about God are some of the best questions of all. The reason is that the more you find out about God, the more you will know how much He he loves you. You will find out how to act in any situation. You will find out what it means to have God as a friend. Grown-ups may not have all the answers, but ask anyway. They might learn something too. For the Lord giveth, giveth wisdom out of his mouth. Cometh knowledge and understanding. Proverbs 2, 6. Yeah, I wonder this writer and the, the ask me this is authority, but uh, I, this really good story for the children. So I'm gonna read uh, somebody's uh, attention of this story. Dear God, that's it. That's it for tonight. Talk to you tomorrow. Does God ever sleep? How about on Sunday? Did God really create the world in seven days? What's the answer? True, false, I try. My best to study and learn. I need God's wisdom to help me understand the things that God gives me a healthy mind. When I need the answer to a tough question, I ask God to help me. God's word tells me to give him my concerns because he cares for me. God promises to give me understanding. When I ask, God gives me clear thinking and good judgment, especially after a good night of sleep. He, he taught me also and said unto me that thine heart retain my words. Keep my commandments and live. Get wisdom, get understanding, forget enough. Proverbs 4, 
four five four three five and dear god every little bit helps why do i have to what mom says it is not always for making your bed and cleaning your room but god wants us to obey our parents god has put your parents in charge of now knowing what's best for you so the next time your mom asks you to help in the kitchen do as she asks with respect respect you will make your mom happy you will be pleasing god too and Deuteronomy 5, 16, Honor thy father and mother as the Lord thy father has commanded you. Thy father has commanded you with the Bible verse and with the flowers. It's not, it's just, you know, God gives us all. Yeah, only two. Dear God, I miss him. Why did my fish have to die? That is never easy to understand. It is said to lose a goldfish friend or any pet. You should, we should remember that God has a plan and a purpose for everything. He knows just the right time for us to say goodbye. Yeah, he has everything under control. He knows how it feels to be sad and he wants to bring you joy. Always remember that God loves you and has great things in store for you. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Matthew 5, 4. Dear God, where are you? Do you listen to the verse singing? Have you ever felt that sick feeling in your stomach when you knew that you were lost? Maybe it was in the supermarket or in the woods. But what is wonderful feeling it is when you burn being found again. Whenever you are lost, turn to God for help. He is an expert, expert in this area. He will comfort you and guide you back to safety. Whatever mess you get in, God will help you find your way through. That the saying might be fulfilled which he spoke of those whom you gave me. I have lost none. John 18, 9. John 18, 9. Yeah. And the dear God, you know, you know, we could do with some good news. Do you ever feel uh, afraid when you think about growing up and getting older? Do you ever get upset when you watch television and see people who have been hurt? Do you ever get nervous, nervous so when mom and daddy say a big thunderstorm is coming? Here's some good news. Nothing ever catches God by surprise or can keep him from taking care of you. The reports are in and being afraid there is out. And he shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yes, in seven there shall no evil touch thee. Job 5.19 And uh, dear God, what a day thanks. Each day is a gift from God. I thank God for this gift. I praise God in the morning. I praise God in the afternoon. I praise God in the in the evening. I praise God for who He is. I thank God for that He does. The Lord is good. The Lord is worthy of my praise. I remember to thank God for at least five things: things daily life, food, home, family, and friends. Yeah. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for He is good. For His mercy endures forever. First Chronicles 1634. Amen. And dear God, last almost last one. So I am having a bad day. Did you ever have one? Yeah, everybody has days and aren't so great days when things just don't go the best. The real question is, what will you do about your bad day? Will you be made out of it about it? Or will you learn from it? Or will you praise God anyway? Every day is a special gift from Him. He wants you to rejoice and be glad in the day He made for you. Even if it isn't a perfect day, no day will ever really be bad. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Psalm 18, 118-24 Yeah, dear God, the last yeah, 
paper shoe. He needs help. Help me to help others. It makes me sad when I see people who do not have a home. What can I do to help them? One of the best ways to help people is to pray for them. God watches out for every person. Even if he or she does not have a home, homeless people are in special need of our prayers. Ask God to help those who are in need. We can show God's love to all people by praying for them and sharing our blessings with them. He raises the poor from the dust and the lives, lifts the needy from the ash heap. He sees them with the princess, princess and the princess of his people. Psalm 113, 7 through 8. Yeah, I love that uh, the pink one. And last one. So we're going to go green and uh, last page of this. Dear God, next to you, he's my best friend. Cats and dogs are great friends and companions. They make you laugh and keep you entertained. You take good care of your pets because you love them, just as you are the master of your pet. Your pet, God is the master of all of us. Your pet trusts you to feed and shelter it. You can put your trust in God. He will always take care of you. He shall feed his flock like a shepherd. He shall gather the lambs with his arm and carry them in his bosom and shall gently lead those that are with young. Isaiah 40, 11. Isaiah 40, 11. Yeah, so beautiful, beautiful color. If the, the weather is more uh, cold, just uh, the more the deep color of pink yeah thank you so smells good yeah so good yeah really little little bees yeah may god bless all of you this just uh, you know read the one book just 20 minutes yeah thank you yeah. hi pipe hi pipe hi pipe hi pipe hi pipe hi pipe 먹어야지 이제 얘들아 여기, 여기 동네를 어, 내가 두 바퀴씩 돌았지? 할아버지가, 어, 어, 할아버지가 두 바퀴씩 돌았지. 아주 자, 하이파이브 하고, 하고, 어, 어, 저기야, 포, 그 뽀미니? 뽀미? 뽀미 개가? 포, 포비냐? 이름이 뭐야? 아이라? 자, 나 봐. 뽀미? 어, 아이, 빠이야, 빠이, 빠이. 일단 빠이 하고. 어, 하, 하, 하다마, 루비 했구나. 하, 하다마, 하이파이브, 하이파이브. 여기 봐봐. 패티야 패티 하이파이브 하고 한번 한번 하고 하이파이브 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 크롱 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 할머니 알아 뽀로로 크롱은 알아 크롱 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 다시 크롱 크롱 뽀로로 응